Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. God bless every one of you today in the name of Jesus. Let me quickly plead again that you go to my backup channel, The End is Nearer Television. We are getting to the target. We have about 630 something subscribers there already. Thank you for having subscribed there, but please, it won't cost you anything to just move over there as you check for the link. The link is in the description area of this video and I will pin it also uh, in the commentary of this video. Thank you very much and welcome to the End Time Truth Television. How are you doing today? I hope all is well with you. Uh, God bless you. You are welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, Give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. All right. Um, the video I want to show you uh, that you're about to watch, it will, it will end me a lot of sticks. The first time I did a video on Ebu Kaubi was when I saw him prophesying and telling a particular family what things that have been happening in the families and uh, how their brothers died and somebody also uh, the, the lady also was about to die because somebody was somewhere killing the, the family members and i didn't even talk about that prophecy i didn't go into it to say whether it was fake or original i only used that video to encourage people to pray now but then i think god used that video to explain to me expose to me the depravity of the fallen man. I saw all kinds of nonsense. People are just defending. So even when you have not said anything against the person, they are just like, you don't even mention his name as long as you're not part of us. Now, but this one, I'm going to speak against what Abuka will be said. And so I know it will end me if it was, if it is possible. Um, you know, that other one was stick, but this one will be rod. But you know what? I don't care. Now we're going to listen to Ebu Kaubi. I will allow, allow you to listen to him, but intermittently I will just say one or two things. Or should I even let you? We we'll watch. We we'll watch together, so that uh, what I will say will make sense to those of you that love the truth. At the end of the day, what matters is the mind of God, and not your own mind. What matters is the will of God. What matters is the Scripture. Thank you so much, and God bless you. As I bring to you. The interview between the interview between uh, Brother Ebukobi, the Zionist, and Yul Edoshie, the uh, Nollywood actor, you know, just stay behind and let us cruise together. God bless you. <laughs> okay, let's have a little talk uh, about the Blessed Virgin Mary, um, the Mother of God. Let's let's hear what you have to say about the Blessed Virgin Mary. I am telling all Zionites, start to honor Blessed Virgin Mary. Oh, yes, sir. no matter the church you are going, no matter the even if you're the Hindus, here is no church. What we are doing is what is in the Bible. Blessed Virgin Mary is in the Bible. Angel greeted her first. So if we greet her, it's not a sin. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. So I beg all of you to begin to honor her. The first woman that encountered the Holy Ghost. In the New Testament, the womb that carried the ark of the covenant for nine months. Alpha Do you know before people cannot enter the sanctuary? But this woman will carry sanctuary himself in her womb for nine months. Do you think she was the only virgin during her time? There was so much virgin, but she was favored. And the a curse be unto you when you curse someone that God has blessed. Anybody from wine, you know. Ebu Kobi, with this gift I have, I still honor her. Crazy, I'm so crazy about our blessed mother. That is why I have it all now. When Oba Jodara, Bido Bebakwa, and Wabena. Just a, a little interjection here. Uh, Oba Jodara, Bido Bebakwa means that when he comes at a crossroad, when he doesn't know what to do, again he will begin to weep then the virgin mary will come and begin to console him and will be telling him 
Don't worry, don't worry. Whatever you are looking for, I will give it to you. Come on, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. What you are crying for, I will do it. I will do it. I will do it. She's a woman I love. All right, before we move further, I want to explain what happened there. What you know, this was not um the this video was not in this interview, but this was cut and you know up, uh, edited, and this was inserted into this video to underscore, I mean, to prove the point that Abu Kobe doesn't play or joke with Virgin Mary. Mary. Now I will start with the uh, from the point of view that there was that time that I was also so you know committed to the statue of the woman. I was so uh, so carried away. I was. In fact, in 1988, when the Roman Catholic Church all over the world held what they called the Marian Year, that was the year that that statue, that idol was paraded all over the world. Everywhere that Roman Catholic was found, they, every parish carried that thing around. So, and I was a man at that time. I was, a, a, yes, I was serving the, the priest then. So, I had this belief, this bias you know, this, this bias about Virgin Mary, you don't dare talk against her because I was also raised, you know, in those days, my mom was also committed. She was, she was so devoted to Mary. So now, now, but then we used to be very, very careful not to make people think that we are worshiping Mary that time. As in, in those days, we will only tell, you know, we don't worship her. We just give her some kind of respect as the mother of God. That, that was what we call her in those days. And that is what they call her still today. Now, but these days, they, they are very bold. Now, they don't even... All that he said here tells you who is more important in his ministry. The Holy Spirit, Jesus and Mary, who is more important. Now, he's going to answer the questions that you, Ledoshi, asked. But the truth is this. The, even the song that was said in Igbo language, Ane Tuyaha Onamuke, Maria, uh, Maria Ne Maramma, means that when she is being praised, when she is being called nice names she will be radiating maria you are you are you are so good or you are beautiful whichever now that is a worship now if you go around the roman catholic churches today there is always a shrine some are very bold to inscribe shrine on it and then the um the statue of a woman that they refer to as mary is there now during the christmas celebration now, in those days, you know, because I'm, I'm not in, in Roman Catholic again, I don't know if it is that right now that people go to pray. But in those days, they, there will be a construct of a hut. That shrine will be brought inside the church. So if you want to pray with the, the you know, the images of the Mary, the, the infant Jesus and jo Joseph, and then some of the appearances of uh, animals and all that, you know, to create that environment of... Um, where jesus was born so if you want to pray you just go before that thing you need now and you pray some even we pray and drop offering there now so it is a basically a worship it is a worship so when you hear ebu kobe tell you things like this then <laughs> like i said i expect so i expect rod for my back and for my head from this one but hey i don't care i will this truth will liberate few that would accept it but those of you that chose to wire in the mire of your, you know, wallow in the mire of your ignorance and your idolatry, good luck to you, and God bless you still. Love so much, not because I'm a Catholic, but because it's in the Scripture. Nobody has been favored like her. Do you know a, somebody becoming the mother of God? No one has ever refused such favor. To be the Theotokos, the mother of God. According to Luke chapter 1, if you read from verses 26, the angel Gabriel came to her, visited her. Hail Mary. Full of grace. You know, the angel was greeting her. And it was not angel greeting, or it was the greeting of the angel, is just a messenger to her. He said, You are blessed among all. You shall conceive in that womb. You are going to have a son. You are going to be this. You are going to be that. You are being favored among all women. The Mary was 
amazed. She was surprised. How? Now, the fact is that, you see, Mary was favored. And thank God he started by saying that she was not the only, only virgin that time, which was true. In fact, in those days, it's unlike today, where 14, 15 year old girls are having sex, you know, anyhow. But in those days, any woman that had sex before she, she was betrothed to a man, would actually, if that is discovered, she would be shamed, she would be stoned to death. That was how serious it was in those days. So there were a lot of those of them that were virgin. But the only thing that singled Mary out for this assignment was favor. See, it was favor. When the Lord Jesus was speaking, he said that there were so many uh, widows in the city of, um, in the city of um, uh, Zarephath. But all of them did not receive Elijah as a visitor that through which God sustained the woman and her son. Now, there were so many um, barren women, you know, women in the city. But then, Elijah was not sent to all the women there except the Sholemite woman. Now, listen, it was favor. And the Mary herself acknowledged this. It was favor. And not just because she came from the tribe of Judah and from the lineage of, of David, it was just favor. She kept herself clean. So also there were other women, girls of her type and age mate that would have kept themselves clean. Religious girls who were, you know, homely, who were trained well. So it wasn't just any, about any other thing. It's just about favor. Now, if you are a believer in Christ Jesus, now think of, the, of it in this way. You had friends that have died and you know that they died without Christ. Now, how about those that were in a robbery gang and... At some point in time, they went for robbery. Everybody was killed. One of them survived. That is favor. Now, it is not of anything so special. It is just the favor of God. And you see, before anybody is given birth to on earth, there has been, there has been this kind of God's appointment and assignments given to each and every one. Now, listen. The Lord said to Jeremiah, before you were born, before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you. And there have ordained you a prophet that you will go you know, to the nations. Listen, if it was about angelic visitations, then we should be worshiping people like Daniel. Because Daniel, even an angel told him that he was a prince with God. He was highly favored. And that was why God never played with anything that had to do with Daniel. There were so many people that had experiences in the Bible. Angels visited them. Abraham, we should be worshipping Abraham. Because not only that angels visited Abraham, God himself ate food in the house of Abraham. So we should actually be worshipping Abraham. We should, because as they will claim, majority of you now will come, claim we don't worship her, we give her honor. Now, okay, if you're honoring her, then we should, why have you not built the statue of Abraham? Now, the truth is that majority of you don't actually know the origin of the, this Maria that you people claim is the mother of God. Even Ebuka himself doesn't know. Majority don't know. But unfortunately, you don't want to know. If you truly want to know, you will know. I tell you the truth. If you want to know, you will know. How can I be pregnant? I am still a virgin. And the angel says, the power of the Most High will overshadow you. And the woman says, so be it according to that word. For, and the angel says, even you are cousin Elizabeth, that people say will not have a child. She's now six months pregnant. Now, immediately the angel departed. And Mary ran to the house. She quickly ran to the house of Elizabeth. And the Bible says, immediately she greeted Elizabeth. Immediately the salutation of Mary entered the ears of Elizabeth. The Bible says, Elizabeth proclaimed in a loud voice, how is it that my Lord mother, see, look at the message of Elizabeth, to show that is even the Holy Ghost that is also ministered to Elizabeth. And she started calling her, my Lord mother. That my Lord Mother comes to visit me. For immediately I heard your greeting. Even the baby in my womb believed for joy. So even the baby in her womb will recognize the greeting of Virgin Mary. So she's a woman I respect so much. I honor so much. And I have fought, I have fought so many pastors that when they want to start preaching the gospel, the, the first thing they will begin to preach is uh, a Catholic um, honoring Mary. You don't honor human being. She's a human being like you. She's this and that. You know, I see it. These are, you know, many people give wrong interpretation about the scripture. 
No, it is not about our honor. See, if it is about honor, I won't have problem with it because it is normal. You, you honor people. Now, but the honor that you give to somebody that is dead, somebody, so you don't, you don't even have her picture. You don't know how she looks like. And right behind the Ebuka here is the statue of Virgin Mary, the one they call Virgin Mary, the her statue. Now, so it is not actually about, about honor. It is pure worship. It is idolatry. Uh, you, he fights pastors that preach against this. Just as I know that a lot of your followers will descend on me, thank God. But I'm sure, I am hoping that God will open, even if it is one person, that will be delivered from this idolatry. I'm okay, but I, I believe God will do a marvelous thing. So it is not about being against honoring somebody. It is about, what, I mean, when you give the same place that God should have occupied in your heart and in your life to a man or to a woman, that becomes idolatry. And the Lord says he will never ever share his glory with anybody. I tell you something, if it is possible for Mary to come down here on earth and to address this matter, Mary will be in very deep sorrow, very, very huge sorrow. Very, very huge sorrow. Because even she herself had never stood, even while they were alive, while Jesus was here on earth and Mary was here, Mary has never, ever, ever seen herself as being the the, the mother of this boy. Mother of this boy. No, he ha she hasn't. And there was no place that Jesus dressed, addressed Mary as, you know, mother sin with the, you know, the possessive sense of it. Like, I can call my mother, my own mom, my mother. No, there was no place. There was no place. And the only place he called Mary mother in the sense of introduction to a son. We will get to that place. So it's not just about honor. It's about the worship. Do you know, I was in Lagos when the former first lady, the wife of former president, good luck, Jonathan, okay. visited Lagos. Everywhere was shut down. I was going to know the whole road was free for her. You know, just a human being. Proclaims of the mother that gave birth to Jesus Christ. If you see these people, most of them, they will still have keep their pictures of their late mother for 30 years ago. They still kiss the picture. Now, what of the Blessed Virgin Mary that gave birth to the Savior of the world? Now, most of them condemned about telling her to pray for you. Why do we see it wrong by telling Virgin Mary to intercede for us, but we can tell our mommy G.O. to pray for us? Now, the concept of asking Mary to pray for us is the concept of the ancient African traditional religion. The concept of we not being worthy to approach God. Because in the African traditional religion that has still been practiced in some places today, they believe that there is a big God up there. And then, but they also come to understand that there are other small, small gods that would act as intercessors. So, while approaching these small, small gods, they offer sacrifice to the small, small gods and ask them on their behalf to approach the big god. That is why, in my language, for instance, she is God. You know, now, it now depends on which god you are talking about. Now, for them to differentiate from which she that they are talking about, now we now have Shineke, that is God the creator, or Shiuku, that is the great God. Now, or sometimes they, they call him Obasibinelu. Now, but then they, they, uh, they have other sheep, other sheep that is the small, small gods. So when they meet the small, small gods, they ask the little gods after pouring oblations and, you know, uh, dropping color knots and what have you, they are giving them assignments to talk to the shiuku, to talk to the, the, the shineke on their behalf. So the, the, the idea of going to your mommy o to pray for you is is different it's like asking somebody to join hands with you and agree with god and the bible says where two or three you know whatever two of you shall agree as by touching anything it works all right so it is quite different now anybody that would maybe go to the grave of their mommy geo or put the picture of their mommy geo or their daddy geo and begin to pray that geo i am here talk to your god for me that's the, the same thing that that these guys are doing because mary is dead number one and if you're, you're talking about people who have their mother's portrait or their father's portrait, my father died about 40, 43, 44 years ago. We still have his picture. We know him. He was a member of the family. Now, that's, we keep his picture in order to, to, you know, for the, uh, to have his um, memory fresh and alive. All right? At least my own children came up and I, I, I was able to show them my father. They didn't see, see him. Even me, I, I knew him as a, as a very, you know, small boy, about two years old or thereabouts. 
Uh, don't use that to try to, <laughs> to guess my age, all right? Now, so, when growing up, I knew this is my father. But I can't go to he, him now and say, Papa, uh, some persons are trying to collect my, the, my land, the land you left for me. Please, can you, can you go and fight for me on, um, on my behalf? No, that becomes idolatry. Now, I keep his picture because that is his real picture. We knew him, this was the man. But you, you guys are keeping images, keeping pictures, keeping statutes of Mami Wata, of the somebody you don't know. Somebody, an image you, you, you don't, Mary didn't have pictures. She didn't take pictures. There was no camera in her own time. And, and because of the kind of life she lived, even if there were artists who could have, who could have, you know, drew her picture, painted her image, now she wasn't that prominent because she lived a life of simplicity, just like Jesus lived a life of simplicity. I made, I made a statement here in the last video I, I did, and I said that had it been Jesus bowed to Satan, he probably would have been very famous and popular and could have been one of the most popular, uh, the, uh, popular um, uh, what is it called now, politicians of the time. And somebody who doesn't reason well came to say, I was demeaning Jesus. Jesus, the Lamb of God, was not popular. Jesus, the sacrificial Lamb of God, was not popular. He was regarded as the son of the carpenter. There was nothing so so important that people saw about him. Nobody knew him, except he was only important to the poor. He was only known by his disciples, his, his own apostles, and those that believed him. Majority disregarded him. Even till today, you know, those you think should know Jesus, they don't know him. But the crucified, the resurrected Jesus, rather, the glorified Jesus, has earned fame because he was able to hold forth. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't, you know, dance to the tune of the devil, either to the right or to the left. That is a digression anyway. So, they lived a, a simple life. And so, it is not possible for anybody to have said, oh, this was the picture that Jesus took, or this was the painting of Jesus or Mary or Joseph. You get it? So, when, when, when he was talking about the first woman that had the impact of the Holy Ghost in the New Testament, wow, Elizabeth too, her conception was a miracle. The, the, the naming of John the Baptist was a miracle, was an inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Now, everybody that has had an assignment in the scripture before the Pentecost has had that assignment accomplished by the supernatural presence of the Holy Spirit upon them. Samson was one person. Saul was one person. Once he was anointed, the Spirit of God came upon him, and the Bible said he, he, he was changed into another man. All right? David also experienced this, the Spirit of God. That some, the prophets... When the Spirit of God came, sometimes in the congregation, the Spirit of God would just come upon somebody and, and he would do extraordinary things. Now, this is not the reason why Mary must be worshipped. And I would like to offend you the more. See, the fact that Mary was the mother of Jesus now does not make Mary superhuman. She was only favored. If Mary, after giving birth to Jesus, had not been consistent in the service and worship of God, she would have gone to hell. But according to the story of the Bible, she was consistent. She stayed. She became a disciple of Christ too. When, when the disciples were told to stay, to stay in the upper room waiting for the promise of the Father, she stayed. She didn't leave the place claiming uh, the, 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 the boy I gave birth to. No, she recognized Jesus as her Lord too. She recognized the Lord as her Lord. And that was why she obeyed every instruction. When Jesus would address Mary, she addressed him, he addressed her brother as woman. Woman, don't you know that it is not my time? Woman, what do I have to do with you now? When, when, when he went to the temple for the first time, at the age of 12, we believe. Now, and the parents went home thinking he was in the company of other family members. But Jesus lived a normal life. And when they didn't see him and they came back and found him, and they were like, your father and your mother. He said, no, don't call those words my father and my mother. These ones here who are listening to me and are doing the will of my father. Because his identity was different. His DNA was different. You can tell your pastor to pray for you. Human being. And they see it now. It's wrong to tell Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of Jesus, to pray for them. But it's right for their pastor to pray for them. Are you telling me that God honored their pastor more than Blessed Virgin Mary? Or God will hear the, the prayer of their pastor more than the mom, the person that gave birth to Jesus? So, these are teachings that is wrong in the church. Like we must correct it. This is no matter of whether you're a Christian or, 
on this or that or Pentecostal. Blessed Virgin Mary, she is a woman of honor. Do you look at what happened in John chapter 2. She was invited. Jesus was invited with his apostles. As the wedding was going on, when you know it, the wine got finished. Immediately the wine got finished. The celebrant did not tell her to intercede for them. She went on herself to Jesus. He said, son, their wine has finished. And Jesus says, my hour of miracle has not come. But to me, Jesus don't know how to tell her, I can't do this in your request. Even though Jesus says, my hour has not come to work miracles. Jesus still performed that miracle. And the woman left Jesus and went to the sick one and says, whatever he asks you to do, do it. And Jesus says, fill the container with the water. Just because my mom has interceded. My mom has requested for this. This is wrong. Study the Bible. No one ever came to Jesus that Jesus did not help. Look at the Bible. There was nobody that came to Jesus praying to Jesus or Jesus for anything that Jesus did not help. Check, check the Bible. Everyone that approached Jesus for me, because that was why he came. You see, there was nobody, no, even the woman that Jesus tested her resolve and her patience, that he said to her, it is not right to give the children's meat to the dogs. Jesus didn't send her away. So that Mary approached Jesus and mind you, except you are reading a different Bible, Mary did not call him son. She came to him and said, they have no wine. They are out of wine. And Jesus said to her, woman, don't you know that it is not yet my time? Now the thing is that Mary had lived with Jesus. And if you remember, um, when the Jews, before that day, before that wedding, his own brothers were you know, reviling him and saying, go out and show yourself to the world. Because nobody does the kind of things you are doing that is hiding. Go and show yourself to the world. So Jesus had been displaying some kind of abilities, supernatural abilities at home. And I guess that he must have been preaching to his family members, his brothers and his sisters. And they were like, I beg, I beg, carry this, your, your too much religion away from here. Your own is different. Your own is, your serious is too strange from what we know. But here they know he possessed some, some gifts. So Mary knew that. And, and we're not taking it away from Mary. Mary was a godly woman. She, was not, she is not to be honored. There's no place in the Bible that the Bible said we should honor Mary. I mean, even self, we should honor Mary. But that does not mean, like I said, that doesn't mean we should disrespect her memory. That doesn't mean we should speak ill of her. Just like we're not speaking ill of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, David, Moses, all the prophets, the, the disciples of Jesus, the apostles. When Jesus died and resurrected, like I said, Mary was one of the recipients of the Holy Ghost. And she was among the, the, the three women that actually went early to the grave to go and see, the, you know, to, to go to the grave. So they, she was not even given any preferential treatment. At least we didn't read that from the Bible. There was no throne that was built by the apostles and said, this is our queen mother. Everybody must honor her. Oh! So... Um, <laughs> it is interesting. And Jesus turned water into wine just because the mom interceded. If Jesus can hear her intercession and perform a miracle when his hour for miracle has not come, so why is it wrong for we to tell her to pray for us now? Jesus did that because that was why he came. Jesus basically is a prayer answering God. Call him today too, he will answer you. So these are teachings going on Wrongly in the church, that people, most of Pentecostal pastors that don't know there is, will pick up and begin to condemn a woman, and you want to go to heaven. And you think if you go to heaven, you will not see her there. So if you finish condemning her, when you go to heaven and see her, will you jump out of heaven to hellfire? Nobody is condemning Mary. I'm not condemning Mary. We are just condemning what you people are doing. Idolatry, that's what we are condemning. And this is the reason why many will go to hell, even though they, they profess to be righteous. Idolatry. That is, the, the Bible said you must not make, God said you must not make an image of anything in heaven, then making the ones on earth is quite an abomination. Not to talk of the ones in heaven. And the truth is that wherever the saints are waiting to the day of redemption and glorification, that is also the same place that Mary is waiting. Now, these people believe that Mary was not buried. And that they call it assumption. They assumed that the day that Mary died, the angels came 
and carried her corpse to heaven. Then you ask me, please, what will God be doing with corpse in heaven? Uh, dead body? What will, God, what will God be doing with dead body? And there is the day of assumption, or they celebrate it. All these idolatrous days of, you know, feasting in Roman Catholic. I've explained it, that these are things brought in by the, the, the you know, the, the, the Roman emperors, the, the Roman Empire, by the emperors, in order to accommodate idolatrous practices and worship in church. Now, but these are the days of the light. These are the days that the light has come. Study the Bible now. All these things that these, you people are doing is not, not found in the Bible. Abu Kalbi believes the Bible. He believes in the Bible. In fact, he said he has read in the Bible, there's no place that the Bible permits a woman to be a leader of any sanctuary, any church. He believes in the Bible. So now, this thing that they are doing with Mary and for Mary, where is it? What foundation is it? Who laid the foundation? It's not in the Bible. And, okay, when we talk about the, the, you know, the, the angelic greetings that she received, now, that was description. It was descriptive of what took place. But it is not prescribing, in, you know, prescribing that we should go ahead every time we need them to pray. We should not say, Hail Mary. Who is Mary? When you are saying Hail Mary when you are praying, you assume that there is the presence of Mary there. You assume that while you are kneeling down, Mary you know, is there and you are talking to Mary. Because when we talk to God, we, we by faith believe that the Lord is there with us and he is hearing us. So when you are invoking the presence of Mary like you will hear him say, let me, let me just allow him play. So, uh, I love her so much. I tell people to honor her. Is, do you know, she was among the 12, the one thing that received the Holy Spirit. Okay. Even we that are Catholics, we don't know. We don't even know whom we have. And bless her, Virgin Mary. You cannot fight me today successfully because I have her as my mother. And so, she, she, she's not even a human again. I think he said she was among the seraphims. If that was what I heard. So, she has actually... She has assumed a different, a different personality, identity entirely. And just like the Romans, the Roman Catholics, my friends, we deny, they say Jesus was the only issue that Mary gave birth to. It's a lie. Read the Bible. We have Joseph. We have Salome. We have, um, we have Jude. And we even have James, whom the, the, the you know, Apostle Paul called the brother of the Lord. They are in the Bible. All right? So Mary had had Salome, Joseph, uh, Jude, uh, or Judah, and James. About four of them. Apostle Paul was particularly said, the brother of the Lord. Have you asked yourself, which other James was among the elders in Jerusalem? Because James, the brother of, of John, was killed almost immediately after the Pentecost. So who was the other James? <laughs> oh my God. I am proud of it. I invoke her intercession day and night. I am totally consecrated to Our Lady. So, she's a woman I don't joke with. And I tell the world to ask her for intercession. It's right. It's not wrong. It's in the Bible. Revelation chapter 12. There was a woman clothed with the sun. Her head, 12 stars, under her feet, moon. Talking about Blessed Virgin Mary. You, you know, this, this was the lie that we have been told before. That revelation depicts the church. That, you know, the dragon. Now, who do you call the dragon as well? And, and the, the infant baby, Jesus already has been glorified as at the time that, that that revelation came forth. So was that also Jesus? And we know that that revelation, that incident, is talking about the future. That was not Mary. That wasn't Mary. That was, that was the church. What the church was going to go through in the hands of the dragon, the hands of the devil, the persecution. Because the devil wants to snuff out life out of the church. But then he could not. Now, the, everything surrounding that revelation had nothing to do with the, you know, the place that Jesus was born. And the Lord is not living in the past. John was to receive that revelation to depict what tomorrow we, 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 you know, we tell. And at least we are, we are in those days where the dragon is actually waiting to see how he can, he can quench the light of the church. That is it. Revelation chapter 12, verse 1. If you are talking about blood of Jesus, you know there is something they call that is a connection between a mother and a son. Please, here is where you have the greatest blasphemy. I love this young man. I, I don't have anything against him. But you see, indoctrination is very, very bad. And it is, it is more difficult to, to save a person that has been indoctrinated than a stack of unbelievers. This is about indoctrination. 
He wants to tell you now that the blood of Jesus is the blood of Mary. Mba here. In the womb. So if you're talking about blood of Jesus, the blood you're talking about is also blood of Mary. Blood. It's the same blood, blood. Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Mary. It's the same blood. So, uh, even before Jesus died, he saw John, he saw, he says, mother, behold thy son. Son, behold thy mother. At that moment, Jesus handed the word over to Blessed Virgin Mary by saying, Okay, so Jesus handed over the word. Now we understand why they worship Mary, because Jesus handed over the word to Mary. In what sense? How? How was that possible? How did that happen? Abu Kobe, my brother, how did it happen? That Jesus knew that Mary was heartbroken, seeing him hanging on the cross. And John the Beloved, who was not married, was the closest to Jesus' heart. He loved everybody, but John the Beloved was the closest. And... He said, son, son, referring to John now, as the son of Mary and mother, as the mother of, of, of John. Now, up until that time, we, we never heard about the, the mother of uh, John and James, the sons of Zebedee. On, the only time we knew about her was when she came and was asking Jesus to make uh, the two of her sons to sit one at the left hand and one at the right hand side. That was the only time that we heard of, uh, you know, of him, of her. So Jesus now committing uh, Mary into the care of John now is being translated that he, he handed the word over to Mary. As what? Now this same Ebuka said something I have explained. I think I will play that video now. That He said that there is no place in the Bible where a woman has been allowed to lead a temple, a sanctuary. Now from the same mouth now Ebuka is telling us that Jesus handed the whole, the whole word over to Mary. As the queen mother of the whole world, right? Abba. The woman should not oversee the church of God. That it should be left for a man. Why? Yeah, because, <laughs> oh, you, know, you, know, you know, the truth is always bitter. From Genesis to Revelation, no woman has ever been without any fear of anything. A woman has never been in charge of the sanctuary from Genesis to Revelation. And in our own time, it's not still allowed. Except the gospel we are preaching is our own, not the gospel of Jesus Christ. In son, behold your mother. So, that is my stand on the oh, issue of Blessed Virgin Mary. I don't go back away. I can never preach and stop about it. Okay, so here we come to the end of the video. And uh, let me know what you think about it. I've said all I have to say about friends. This is not about, it's not about denominational differences. It's not about criticism. It is about the word of God. It is about the truth. Please save your soul. Jesus alone, Jesus alone. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now the Bible said, how will they call upon whom that they do not know? Now they have led you astray, making you to pray more to Mary than to Jesus. In those days when, when my mother was a devotee, you know, we used to pray Hail Mary. 53 times, 53 times that, you know, that chaplet has 53 beads that, that is dedicated to Mary, um, about five, seven that you will say our Lord's prayer. And then now you, you now say all the creeds that are there. Now, sometimes in a, in a night, we used to say that 53 times times five. We just say it and say it and say. So before you, you know, after that, we're now going to litany of, of, the, of the Virgin Mary. You know, there you hear all kinds of praises for, for, for Maria. And at the end of it, we may not even talk about Jesus. We may not even pray to Jesus because now after that, we just say our Lord's prayer. And at the end of it, also, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So you spend like one hour, two hours talking to Mary. And those that will, that will eventually now summarize with the normal in Jesus' name and, and say some kind of petition would have also cried to Mary and maybe used five minutes to talk to Jesus. So we waste all, all those times. But the Bible says that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, the same shall be saved. See, that, that I know somebody will come here and say that she has prayed and she has gotten results. And like Ebuka, in, you know, I am, I'm beginning to look at the spirit that is working behind him too. Because if he says that sometimes Mary will come to him, I will, be, I will say, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, whatever you are asking for, I will do it. 
So it, that means it's not the Holy Spirit that he's working with. And if he's not working with the Holy Spirit, he's working with the Spirit of Mary. That is the Spirit of the Queen of Heaven. Mm. It is the Queen of Heaven. And Queen of Heaven is a demon. And you see, I have said here that the deception of the devil is that the devil will, you know, deceive, a, you know, good people. Honestly, they will be deceived. And in their honesty too, they will also be used to deceive hundreds of thousands. If you have understanding. And I know that this video is not for everybody. So as many as are keen to know the truth, may the Lord give you understanding in the name of Jesus. Abuse me, I am ready for this one. Abuse me, talk anything. It doesn't make sense. For me, it doesn't make sense. I've just delivered the message and thank God you heard it. That's why you, that's why you will abuse me. So abuse me very well. But may the Lord show you mercy. May the Lord give you understanding in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'll be coming your way in the next video. And those of you that love the truth, please share this video. There are many in darkness. Please share it. Share it. Save them. Save them. Snatch them from the hands of death. In the name of Jesus Christ. Till I come your way again in the next video, I remain your brother in the Lord. And from me to you, shalom.